Jayati Ranjan Mahapatra, practicing gastroenterologist and hepatologist. Uh, I have done my post graduation from Chandigarh as well as DM from Delhi. After that, I have spent five years in UK. Just uh, today's topic is what I will be discussing is what is hepatitis, how to prevent hepatitis, what is the common things we should know about hepatitis. Hepatitis is a very common problem. The word hepatitis means it is involvement or inflammation of liver. So hepatitis, there are various causes, but mostly there are four things one should know. One is viral hepatitis. Second one is toxic hepatitis. Third one is alcoholic hepatitis. Fourth is autoimmune hepatitis. Because as you know, viral hepatitis, there are five types of virus starting from A, B, C, D and E. There are two viruses are waterborne like A and E and B and C are called serum hepatitis because they are transmitted by the blood products or they are sexually transmitted by the if you share something common between these two people. So viral hepatitis A is waterborne because it's a most prevalent form of hepatitis but by the time we have this uh, middle age or after the middle age or young age, uh, you get that immunity from the community. So the problem with hepatitis A is because that is uh, once it is there, it is, can cause severe and disabling symptoms like anorexia, proderm and uh, various symptoms like it can go into polystatic phase with the pruritus. Hepatitis E is lethal in a pregnant woman. Hepatitis B and C are transmitted only by blood, blood products or incidentally from maternal to fetal transmission can be there with hepatitis B. And there is vaccine available for hepatitis A and B. But so far there is no vaccine available for C. Because other type of viral hepatitis, because if you take alcohol in moderation, that may not cause alcoholic hepatitis. There are two types of alcoholism. One is rapid metabolizers, one is slow metabolizers. Those who metabolize fast, even if you take plenty of alcohol, you don't get alcoholic liver disease. One condition which one should know that binge drinking. If someone is drinking five uh, pints of alcohol, or five uh, packs of alcohol at one time for male, or four packs for female, we call it binge drinking. So even if you are not taking alcohol regularly, but if you take a binge, you are a binge drinker, then you are likely to get alcoholic hepatitis with binge drinking. The other form is toxic hepatitis because most of the toxic hepatitis are drug induced like anti-tubercular drug, uh, alternative medicine or camps and there are various medications like anti-epileptic that can cause uh, certain antibiotics can cause liver disease. One should know what, suppose there is a traditional uh, medicine what is used in uh, uh, COVID, it's Giloy. Giloy can cause uh, hepatitis as it's called drug induced hepatitis or drug induced liver disease we call it as a DD. So other one is autoimmune hepatitis. Autoimmune hepatitis means there is a body's own uh, immune system fights against liver you call it autoimmune hepatitis. So hepatitis A and B are preventable and if you take proper precaution you can prevent hepatitis uh, A and B and C if you have got there is a treatment available for hepatitis B and C. Nowadays because hepatitis C is totally curable because what happens is in between there was only injection. Nowadays you have got oral pan genotypic variant of medicine. We can cure hepatitis C. For hepatitis B we have got also treatment and the treatment is usually lifelong until you are negative of hepatitis B. And it has been seen that if you continue with hepatitis B treatment, there is less chance of developing cirrhosis as well as hepatic cellular carcinoma. So one thing one should know that with liver disease, there could be symptom could be non-specific and could be present with end stage liver disease like cirrhosis of liver or portal hypertension. So a stitch in time can prevent most of the things. So prevention is always better than cure. And one should know what are the nutrient deficiency because malnutrition has been seen associated with the alcoholic liver disease. So even liver disease can have malnutrition and malnutrition is associated with liver disease 
and malnutrition is associated with deteriorating alcoholic liver disease. So one should take care of the nutrition, one should take care of the vitamins like fat soluble vitamin A, D, E, K and B complex vitamins and how you deal depending on the situation if someone is getting worse can get hospitalization and take treatment accordingly. With this I must thank you all for your questions. Thank you.